Okay, this is a tractor. New pistons going in. And a cylinder was reboard, all brand new there. Ah, oh, nice. Now the rubber seal here that goes in this groove to stop oil coming out the crankcase. This, I got it out the top of an oil filter. So this oil filter, there's usually a rubber sealing ring here and an oil filter. Uh, as a rough idea, this here, this ring here. So if you get the right filter, you don't need to go paying big money. Put lots of grease on it. Grease in the groove and this pushes in nicely. The other one there, I've already done it. It's just perfect fit. And now then this has a taper in the top here. So we can put the piston rings in here carefully. We can put the piston rings, squeeze them in with the thumbnail, not a screwdriver. If you use a screwdriver to work around that, you'll break it. So lots of oil on the rings and they will push in there with your thumbnail, working them into this taper. And you shouldn't break any. Piston rings have to have the gap opposite each other. So this one will be round here. That one will be around there and so on right down to the main first compression ring. Now the big ends look okay on this. There's uh, lots of life left in those and the crankshaft journal looks good. Looks like a new one there. I found the timing mark as well. The timing marks on the flywheel here and the casing. There's two timing marks, I haven't sussed that out yet, but you can see the mark there. That's top dead centre and the other one here coming round is the timing mark for the spill. The injector pump, you're putting a new injector pump and you can time it with that. Ah, now the other one went on well yesterday, all torqued up nicely. Uh, 23 pounds on the big end because they're just tiny bolts, 23 pounds feet. Um, and the cylinder head, I haven't worked it out just what that's going to be yet, but uh, um, it worked a treat. Bumping clearance, yeah. you have to do bumping clearance for the cylinder head piston. So you push a piece of wire down there, wind the cylinder over and it squeezes the end. Squeezes the end between the piston and the cylinder head and you have to measure that. And it has to be, well, between 36 and 42 I think. Oh, I'm only guessing this but uh, it looks about right. You have to do them both. If it's less than 20 thou, it's gonna the piston might hit the cylinder head, and that won't be good at all. Okay, that's how it's going so far.